Hi everyone. Okay. So as a promise, okay, I promise uh, to all of you, I want to discuss about the problem solving in chapter three regarding to your homework uh, last a few days. Okay, so please uh, take note and then take the paper. Okay, so please refer your answer, then double check with my answers. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, so let's check it out, number one. Okay, so um, once you have your answer, you will check your answer with me. Okay, so I will explain how you got the answer for A. Okay, A, you got 0 0.1 mole of zinc. B, you get 0 0.1 mole of H2. And C, you get 2400 cm cube. Okay. If you understand, never mind. But for those who still don't understand, okay, for the first step, you need to uh, find the ratio first. So easier for you. Okay, you compare the mole here. So all one, right? Why? Because you can see here one mole of zinc react with one mole of H2SO4 produce one mole of zinc sulfate and one mole H2. Okay, so here why I write down 0 0.1 earlier here. So easier for you to check the ratio. Okay, so let's say here, the question one, the number of mole of zinc, then the number of mole of H2 and then the volume of H2. So for the first step, you must find the number of mole by um, Referring the information given. Okay, so information given to us is 6.5 gram of zinc. So of course we have mass of zinc and we have molar mass of zinc given also in the question. So here we can get number of mole of zinc. Okay, so 0 0.1 here you write down directly into here. Okay. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay, so you already know the ratio, the exactly ratio. Okay, so when the question asks you the number of mole of H2 here, so you just compare. Okay, yeah, so you got 0 0.1 mole of H2. Okay, next, how you want to find the volume? Okay, based on the formula, mole equal to volume over molar volume. So, you got this and then you get the answer. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, for question number two. Okay, the answer for A is 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.5 mole of calcium carbonate. B, 0 0.5 mole of carbon dioxide. C, you got 12 dm cube. Okay, I will explain for those who still don't understand for question number two. Okay, first step, compare the ratio earlier. Okay, so easier for you later. Okay, so the question one, number of mole calcium carbonate, number of mole carbon dioxide, volume of carbon dioxide. Okay, information given, 50 gram of calcium carbonate. So find the number of mole, mass, uh, 50 from the question. Molar mass also given by the question. Uh, you need to find okay, 40 for calcium, C for uh, carbon, 16 times 3 for oxygen. Okay. So you got 0 0.5 mole of calcium carbonate. Okay, B, mole of cal uh, carbon dioxide. So you just compare the ratio in the equation. So you get 0 0.5. Okay. Okay, C, for volume of carbon dioxide, using the formula, mole equal to volume over molar volume. So you convert like this. So you get the answer. Okay. Okay, next. Question number three. Okay, so question number three, 
the answer for A is 1.5 mole. Okay, B, number of mole of carbon dioxide is 3.0. C, number of mole of H2O is 3.0. Then the volume 67.2 dm cube. Okay, next for the explanation. Okay, this question is a little bit hard. Uh, it gives you the different ratio here. One mole of ethane react with three mole of oxygen, two mole of carbon dioxide, and two mole of H2O. Okay, remember this uh, ratio one, three, two, two is only for the ratio, not the molar mass. Okay, let's say here. Okay, A, when you want to find number of mole of ethane, okay, mass over molar mass. Okay, so here you can check with me, okay, 2, C2 times 12. Okay, H4, so 4 times 1. Okay, let's say you have 2 mole here. Okay, 2 mole here. So no need 2 times 2, okay. 2 or 3. 2, 2 here is only for ratio only, ratio purpose, not for molar mass purpose, okay? Okay, next, okay, once you get 1.5 mole, okay, now you can see here I already put 1.5 here. Okay, so easier, earlier we calculate already 1.5 for 1, so if oxygen has 3, you must times 3, so 4.5. Okay, here 1.5 times 2, 3.0, 1.5 times 2, 3.0. So you must use the original 1.5 from the information given. Okay, next. So you just compare the ratio. So you get 3.0. Okay, 1.5 to 3.0. Okay. Okay, so next. Question number four. Okay, question number four, the answer for 4A is, okay, number of mole of Fe is 4, molar mass for carbon dioxide is 44 gram per mole, mole of iron 2 oxide, sorry, iron 3 oxide, 0 0.7, then the volume is 50.4. Okay. So, uh, this kind of question also give you different ratio different mole for every uh, molecule okay so for the first one okay question a mole of fe okay this question not give any information to us okay if you can see here we just compare the basic one means if you have one mole we will get two mole if you have two mole you get four mole that's why from the comparison, so mole of Fe is 4. Okay, but okay, B, okay, this one you need to find yourself because the question didn't give you the value of each carbon and oxygen. So you need, you need to memorize, okay, if this, if this kind of question will become out in the exam. Huh? Okay, C. Okay, uh, now we have the information given. Mass is 40. Molar mass from the question also given. You get 56. Okay, so you get 0 0.7 mole for Fe2O3. Okay, once you get the number of mole from the question, you transfer in the equation. Okay, 0 0.7. If you have 3, 0 0.7 times 3, 0 0.7 times 2, 1.4, 0 0.7 times 3, 2.1. Okay. So the volume, okay, volume of carbon dioxide. So when carbon dioxide, you just compare, you have 0 0.7 for Fe2O3. How we want to get number of more for CO2, we compare, we got 2.1. Okay. This one is same with this one. Okay. This one I just compare with these two. This one is compare for all four products. Okay. So you get formula more carbon dioxide, molar volume. Okay, you got for 50.4. Okay.
Okay, next. Last question. Okay. Number 5A. So you get a uh, number of more. Okay, equal to 3. B, 0 0.05 more. C, 0 0.15. And D, you got 3.6 dm cube. Okay. So, as usual, okay, I, I hope for the question number 5, I think you understand enough. Okay, um, for me, you need to make the ratio comparison earlier. So, easier. Okay, so number more of oxygen. Okay, this one, no information given. So, we just compare. Because no information given. Mass, no. Volume, also no. Okay, but B. Okay, we have mass for C2H5OH. 2.3 and then molar mass. From the question given to you, so you calculate one by one. So you got number of mole of C2H5OH. Okay, so directly insert into the equation. So you have 0, 0, 0 0.05 times 3, 0 0.15 times 2, 0 0.1 and times 3, 0 0.15. Okay, next we just follow the question for question number C. Uh, C. Okay, where is my cursor? <laughs> okay, now okay, 0 0.15, 0 0.05. Okay, so you got oxygen 0 0.15. Volume, okay, use the formula. Okay, you just substitute the value and then you got the answer 3.6 10 cube. Okay, so that's all from me. I hope you keep practice, okay, by referring the textbook. And then this notes. Then please prepare yourself for the next class, our chemistry class. We will we will have the quiz huh, regarding to this subtopic. Okay. So thank you. All the best and good luck. Okay. Bye.